welcome you all students uh, today we are going to talk about introduction to linguistics uh, part 3 phonetics and english phonology english code 203 second year students would learn today and discipline english uh, crrs mean to say credit hours uh, teachers would spare 3 hours to teach students in a week this is semester 3 and uh, this uh, syllabus is specially designed uh for the students of the punjab university bs uh, four years program for affiliated colleges so let's learn uh, about the syllabus contents uh, for the introduction to linguistics uh, part 3 phonetics and english phonology here are the aims i would like to uh, introduce to you and I would like to share with you that how and what are the aims uh, for learning this uh, subject to provide students uh, with the descriptive analytical and applied knowledge about sound system of english and varieties of english so the aims uh, for learning this subject is to uh, talk about the pronunciations english language pronunciations uh, uh, practically and here students would be uh, especially taught and uh, would would be stressed to focus on the varieties of english like uh, british english american english uh, uh, indian english um, uh, and uh, there are so many other like australian english uh, these all uh, english is i must to say uh, have a variety and uh, there are varieties of english language so none of uh, the variety is superior to the other that here we must start students must uh, uh, focus upon the differences that what are the differences of those varieties and any variety we could use uh, from the given um, this uh, syllabus or from the given uh, area here let's talk about the contents which students are to learn in semester 3 and uh, there are uh, contents divided into number 1 a b and then c d so number 1 i would like to learn uh, or i would like to teach to the students introduction and in, within introduction the students of course would be taught what is uh, phonetics phonology what are the differences of uh, uh, these two distinctive uh, terms uh, in the same area of the subject and within this introduction uh, of a phonetics students will be taught stages in the production of a speech uh, what are the stages where a speech has been produced so this is the first the very first topic uh, in this content here is a second topic and this is speech organs what speech organs are involved while we speak and manners of articulation how uh, sounds are been articulated uh, it uh, there are so many um, phonemes in english and each phoneme have a different way to articulate uh, its sound or speech so these are the very basic introductory topics that students are been taught here is number b and uh, this is segmental phonology now uh, within phonology we would learn that what is segmental phonology this is a type of phonology that we learn and within this segmental phonology we, we we would learn phonemes and allophones consonants vowels diphthongs and triphthongs so this is a very basic study of sounds that what are phonemes what is a phonology english phonology phonemes allophones phone so these are very basic terms that the students need to learn consonant sounds and vowel sounds of course all the sounds in english are divided into consonants and vowels and within these sounds we would learn that what are diphthongs and triphthongs of course uh, these uh, sounds play major role in uh, these types of sounds and number 2 is syllable and syllabic structure as a consonant clusters are been made how these clusters are been made in english syllable what is syllable this is a very basic question word stress mean to say their uh, uh, students are have been taught what is a stress in uh, language or in pronunciation and then sentence stress and word stress and within word stress if uh, 
and there is a difference of a noun and verbs uh, and adjectives if there is the same word but uh, that word may be pronounced differently uh, when we are dividing that word in different word classes so this is segmental phonology that students uh, uh, has been taught here uh, number c is supra segmental phonology and uh, within this topic we would learn sounds in connected speech so connected speech is actually uh, the main area that has been focused here weak forms when we learn weak forms of course uh, students so they have to learn uh, stronger forms in english language and assimilation what is assimilation in connected speech of course in connected speech when we uh, speak uh, connectedly or when we are speaking um, fluently uh, there happens assimilation elision and liaison so these are very special terms that we learn in weak forms uh, in the strong forms within the topic of connected speech so this is known as supra segmental phonology here um, students they need to learn contrastive phonology teaching of pronunciation uh, within this contrastive phonology students would learn the differences of the pronunciation of course we pakistani have um, different pronunciations indians they have a, a very different contrastive pronunciations uh, likewise even within countries there are uh, contrastive uh, uh, pronunciations of that language certainly british uh, students or uh, speakers uh, are uh, uh, differently speech speak than the um, us students our australian they speak very differently so this is contrastive phonology within this uh, this would help us that what are uh, the differences of the pronunciation between uh, different languages at the end uh, that here are recommended readings for all the students and within this recommended readings uh, if we look at there are nine books recommended for students for this semester but especially i uh, always recommend a students one and only a very special book I must say that covers all the uh, these all contents uh, within this topic. That is Peter Rhodes' book, English Phonetics and Phonology: A Practical Course, Cambridge, uh, of nineteen ninety one. So this is a very special book that I usually recommend uh, to my students that you should learn this book. This is one of the very uh, simple book to uh, learn about the pronunciations uh, are the very basic terms in phonetics and phonology and this is a practical book that we come to know uh, i must say there are so many other books that need to be learned uh, like this book is very special teaching english pronunciation within this book we would learn uh, the contrastive phonology can worthy book and uh, London Longman, nineteen eighty seven. This is a very special book. History of English uh, phonology is there. Uh, Charles' book. This is a very special book again. So there, these all books are very special that we individually um, would learn about the all given topics. <clears throat> Here, a students note we must um, uh, learn this that all the concepts that. Uh, are given here we may find these concepts from other references as well so we are not bound to only learn from these recommended readings or recommended books we are free to learn from every uh, anywhere so these are all the contents within uh, the subject of introduction to linguistics part 3 phonetics and english phonology for the students of uh, the university of uh, the punjab hope this would have been very helping for all the students uh, here i just explained i believe about the syllabus for your program for the affiliated colleges what are the aims of this syllabus to um, uh, when we are uh, talking about learning this subject and these are the contents uh, i uh, explained about them and these were the recommended books that we learned so hope this would have been very helping and uh, it would help you when you are going to crack all the contents in this uh, subject. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.